Hi, this is Mark Haynes with Fly Rod Chronicles and Fly Fish Tide Flies, and today we're trying for you the Super Boo Bugger. Love this fly just for the fact that it's a very simple tie and it's also very effective. Main material in it is Whiting Super Boo. This is really all that's in this fly other than the other basics. So as you can see in the vise we have a size 6 Barbless Trout Legend Streamer Hook. And on that, I already have on there a 4.5 gold tungsten bead. I really like the bigger bead on this. I jig this fly a lot. It's an effective way to fish it. But you can tie it in different weights, lighter, even no weights, if uh, that's what you want. I mean, it's, it's very effective and you can really fish it a lot of ways. So first thing I did there is I put about eight wraps of 0 0.25, 0, 0.025 lead to get that started. We go ahead and start the thread. Take this thread out of there. Wrap up that thread and kind of cover up that lead just a little bit. It don't have to be perfect. Now take your thread all the way to the back and you are going to be ready to tie in the marabou. One thing I like to do is I like to wet this makes it easier to measure and keep everything together when you tie it. So it measure that tail about the length of the body of the fly, the shank of the hook. Do a pinch wrap. Get that in place. Really want to make sure you keep it on the top. Kind of helps keep this fly so it swims better. So, okay. Now take that thread, take it back up to the top and we're going to start on the body of this fly. and. Go ahead and wrap that marabou up. And what's interesting is as we go up, the way this fly kind of is made changes a little bit. This back half here, our marabou goes like this. So then as we get to the front, use an image of the head. Really seems to be effective with the darker colors, but I really like this white color a lot as well. And now as we wrap, you see it's just like hackle, but only that's that marabou, and it's gonna put that mo movement. And just come forward and it's, we're gonna leave that all in the fly go ahead and trim off that excess there that didn't use that feather and as you see I'm using this red thread the reason I'm using red thread is I like when I tie it off I leave a nice little collar behind that bead and I believe it gives like the illusion of a little bleeding or the gills Kind of gives a trigger point for the fish to go after. Put a half hitch on here. Give a couple whip finishes. And the fly is pretty much going to be done. There is one last final step I like to do just to make this fly a little sturdier. I'm gonna go ahead and take some, I've got crazy glue here is what I use, same as what we use with the lead I put a little on. And just coat, carefully coat that. So now that we have that bigger bead on there, there's a lot of weight to this fly. So there you have it. This fly is a great fly. It's gonna catch you some fish. Um, anyway, if you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. If you have any comments, please ask. And also, this fly will be available in the Fly Fish Tie store. Thanks.